Okay, so what I like to do when I'm replacing these is get the old one physically out of the way mm -hmm. first. And then because this is an actual OEM replacement, um, so this board just slides out. And then we can, that board, we got enough slack, that board can stay out of the way. We get the new board. New boards in, pull the lines up. And then because this is a exact like for like, you can just start, I try to start at wherever is easiest to unplug, plug in. You know, um, unplug this. Plug that in right there. Now, they're not always quite this plug and play. Sometimes you're switching, uh, switching things that can make it difficult. But this is uh, identical. So now that was the cool speed. So we'll put that back down on cool speed. coming up top there. This was cool speed here. And then Orange was our heat speed. Now, this makes it look very easy because it's literally just popping wires off, putting wires on. But changing the circuit board has to be more than that. You have to make sure when it's all said and done that it functions. You can't just uh, be like, oh, I swapped it and it's good to go. Um, so. We just got some neutrals to move over. Now I try to, when I'm putting these back in, make sure that the wires are as untangled as they can be. Just because when they put these together at the factory, you know, they're the people putting it together at the factory are not going to be the ones servicing it. So they tend to have less of a concern. 
But if this unit has any other issues, there's a good chance it'll be one of us servicing it. And then the last thing I've got on here is my thermostat connections. So I'm just going to verify our WIC. So nothing out of the ordinary there. So this two wires coming from our outdoor unit. And then I'm just making sure that, you know, I've seen circuit board swaps before where they've made some update or change and like the terminals aren't in the same order, aren't labeled the same, etc. So you want to pay attention to that as well too. W. And this is just a four wire going upstairs. So they're using blue for Y because that makes sense. I got a call this weekend from a buddy of mine who's replacing his thermostat. <laughs> He's like, I put the blue on the OB and I can't get the fan to come on. And blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, how many wires you got? Four. Are they red, blue, white, and green? Yup. Your blue goes on the Y terminal. Y stands for cooling, not yellow. Oh. All right. Test everything, make sure nothing's loose. Nothing's going to come off. Okay. And then a lot of times I'll take the circuit board and we kind of did this when we diagnosed that it wasn't working, but just look that sucker over. And a lot of times you'll see these pathways on the back of them will actually get like burned up or shorted or something like that. I think in this case, the issue was right here in this fan. This is a relay on the front was right here in the relay. Um, my guess is the relay was getting powered. It just was not actually actuating. And the reason I think that is because when we switched it over to this relay, which had the constant fan one, it uh, did work. So, okay, now we'll test it out.